us are here. I almost forgot to do this hot shot for you guys. I almost forgot to film it. But you know what? I whipped out the camera. It's time to go. What's up guys and gals, welcome to my channel. And I'm going to some garage sales today and maybe a thrift store. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the like button early and we're gonna get that cheddar right now. En route to the first garage sale, which is about three minutes away. I'm excited, it's Friday morning. I mean, this is how to do it. No competition usually on Fridays. We'll see what we find. I have no idea what we're gonna find but it's gonna be good regardless. So someone just sent me uh, a question about one of my uh, roller skates that I have listed for like $200. I think I picked them up for 10 bucks. Um, and, and the person was like, would you sell the wheels alone? I, I replied, hey, here's an offer for 150 bucks and uh, I don't wanna separate the wheels. So we'll see if he bites, I have no idea, but uh, I really don't wanna separate you know, the wheels from there, I just don't. I'd rather just sell it as a whole, it's awesome, it's got some watchers on it. So anyways, that's just what, that's what went down right after I came out of the gym because I got a badass workout. Duh, it's eight in the morning. Where else would I be? Ooh, a roundabout. Ooh, ooh, technical roundabout. You know what's interesting about roundabouts is like most people don't know how to use them properly, but I still like them a lot. I just, uh, it's almost like, it's almost like that self-service line at a grocery store where you get the self-checkout and the people take forever long. It's like it completely defeats the purpose of it. But anyways, I digress. Today, I am a small blue dot. I'm using Yard Sale Treasure Map. It is probably the best garage sale app to use that I can see right now. So if you're new to the game and you're like, well, how do I find these garage sales and stuff? That's how you do it. Ooh, I see a sign already, right there. There's a sign on the side of the, there's a sign right there. And I think it says go this way. Yeah, it's going this way. Ooh, man, the energy is just running through my, mm, through my veins. This is like, this is like cheddar creatine right here. I'm talking, I'm getting a pump and I'm not even there yet. What do we have here? I got two garage sales. Oh, next door neighbors. Absolutely. Bags, a bike. Ooh, actually a good bike. I'm gonna check this out. Okay, so from that garage sale, I'm gonna see if my wife likes this stuff. If not, I'm just gonna throw it up on eBay. But we have a North Face pullover. This was like $2. Uh, it's a hoodie, uh, three quarter. Or actually, I guess a quarter, quarter button, not full right really good condition women's small uh, that was two bucks that's north face it looks pretty good i mean that's probably 35 to 50 on ebay if i put it on there we'll see you know i don't really want to put things in my store that don't align with my minimum of 50 dollar profit but i might have to on that one i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to uh, if it doesn't fit my wife then we have a neighbor that's pretty cool too and it might be able to fit her so we'll see uh, but what might fit my wife right here are these patagonia uh, board shorts which is good for like wakeboarding wake sports random stuff like that you know you just don't want your bottoms to go flying off and some of these sports that we do in the summertime wakeboarding wake surfing I mean, it's pretty easy for uh you know it's pretty easy for things to kind of just fly off but yeah we'll see if she wants those that was a dollar they're patagonia this definitely would sell for sure on ebay for about for about 35 to 50 as well first class rate so yeah i might put those on there i'm not 100 percent sure though but those are the first scores of the morning we got some freaking drops on the windshield now so something's gonna hamper my cheddar better not be this time to go to the next garage sale quick let's see what the weather's gonna be like six to 12 hours 30 percent chance of rain man it looks like that percent is all up on my car Ah, this is probably gonna spoil my cheddar. This is gonna spoil my cheddar chances. Oh no. Ugh. By the way, yesterday's workout, I did it with uh, my hair up, yes, in a man bun. Some people on my channel or you know, through comments were like, hey, you should put it on man bun, that would be cool. And then some people were like, man buns are dumb, da, 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 da. So, and they actually go, da, 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 da. that's what they sound like. I put it in a man bun, I had a workout. And uh, for any kind of exercise that I was doing that required my head to be on a chair or something like that, I I felt it. I mean, I could feel my head. Like, I couldn't smash my head against the chair. It kind of sucked. Hey, we're having some hair talk here, guys. I'm sorry. If you don't like this, we're having hair talk. We're, we, you guys, back and forth, we're having hair talk. Every video, hair drops. This is going to bring all the subscribers in. Man, I'm telling you, dude. Forget Fortnite. Forget Twitch. 
hair drops are bringing, that's the new thing, man. I'm telling you, ominous is the word I picked to describe that. It's like everything's blowing really, really hard. The flags, the trees. I mean, I think my cheddar is gonna blow away too. Hopefully it doesn't. We're close to the next one. We're within like three minutes away. Maybe I can beat the cloud to the garage sale. I don't know. Okay, so if you love the Hot Shot videos, you know what to do. You hit the like button prematurely. That's right. We go premature on this thing. And this is the only time if you're a guy where premature is actually a good thing. You get it? <laughs> that was kind of gross actually, but I don't care. Because I'm about that zero FG if you know what I'm talking about. All right, before we get to this garage sale, you know, I've got some funny comments about, uh, you know, being swole, being jacked, whatever. And one of the ones from the previous video was like, you should call yourself Jacked Sparrow, you know, from Pirates of the Caribbean, which I've heard that thing before in some other YouTube videos. But anyways, uh, let's brainstorm. Let's brainstorm what I am, right? Let's figure this out right now. You know, when I was little, my favorite, um, kind of, I guess, nursery rhyme or whatever was Jacked in the Beanstalk. <laughs> What happens when you have creatine beans, I'm telling you, man, they'll just grow up all the way to the sky. Okay, this next garage sale is somewhere, ooh, at H2. Ooh. Ugh. Gross. I want an off-road too. I'm an H2, but I can't. All right, there's a garage sale down here somewhere. Sweet Airstream. Dude, I think I was at this garage sale last week. Do they repost their garage sale again? Ugh, really? I think they did. Oh, they did. It's the same one I was at. No. That one wasn't that good. I'm out of here. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, is that that one last Friday? What? Why would you put it again? The stuff wasn't even that good. Oh. All right. I think I found one. Yeah, I found another one. Oh, so, whoa. That was weird. I was literally just looking at this thing and said, oh, there's a garage sale over there. So I was like, cool. And it changed right before my eyes. I'm not kidding. See this? It says sale canceled. Let me. All right, I'm going to this one. There's one that's kind of close. Let's go hit it. So yes, Jack Sparrow in his orange wedge, that's my ship name, is going to this next garage sale. You know, because in the movie it was Jack Sparrow, and I think he had a ship called like the Black Pearl, I think. So I have to be something that's like a color plus something else. I'll just be the orange wedge. And nobody's gonna sink this ship, nobody. Honestly, one day I want a house that looks like this. I really do. And it has a slide off the side. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, I want a house that looks like that. Hey, look, it's Amy's ice creams. That place is actually really good. Good for kiddos, too. A question I get sometimes is, when are you gonna have a kid bona fide? Uh, I don't know. When they start making Gerber baby food <laughs> with creatine in it. <laughs> I think before my kids go out and play in the afternoons, you know, like after school and everything, I think I'm gonna give them some pre-workout. I should. Seems reasonable. Let's take a look. Ooh, man, this garage sale came prepared. Look at this. Have you ever seen a tarp so big in your life? What? Who does this stuff? Get my vantage point. A ton of stuff in this garage sale. I mean, a ton. But look at this tarp. I, these guys are crazy. Look at this. Unbelievable. They tarped the entire garage shell off. What? Maybe they're protecting all the good stuff. Let's go. I paid 40 bucks for everything. Found some great things. This is a Petzl Ekron Rock helmet. Uh, I believe it's a medium and red. My last one that I sold, I think was yellow or maybe it was white. Sold for really good money. Somewhere between 40 and 60 bucks. Anyways, so I got that one. I got another one right there, a white one. Got a pair of deer antlers. Got some antlers right there. That's perfect for the booth. I'll be asking, I don't know, somewhere between uh, 30 and 50 bucks for these. And probably closer to 30. And then we have two iPods. I, I lot these up later. So when I get about 10 of them, I lot them up, put them on eBay. I got two of them. And um, right here we have a classical guitar that's just sitting in there. So the classical guitar, probably local sale, 40 bucks, maybe 60. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are probably the bigger winners. And then these iPods will complete a lot that's sitting in my desk right now, and I'll put them on eBay. And usually iPods, I mean, almost all the time they will work. Your main issue with iPods will be how long does the battery last? So I just put them as uh, a lot, you know, untested. Uh, they all turn on um, and un unsure of how long the battery lasts on each one. So that's basically it. I will say it comes with music and all that kind of stuff too. So 
there we go. That was a really good garage sale. I'm glad I went here. That tarp though. Garage sale, various clothing and shoes. No thanks. So yeah, I won't be seeing that one. But yeah, maybe I'll go to the coffee shop, do some work. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna do. You know what? I'm gonna be a better man and go see One Goodwill before I go to this coffee shop. And I'm not gonna tell you what album Better Man is on, but what is your favorite song from that album? I wanna see if there are any Pearl Jam heads here in the house. And plus, what would be my favorite song from that album? Knowing what you know about me, what would be it? There's the Goodwill, yo. Definitely windy outside. Yes. Always gotta scope out the jackets. Sometimes there's some good things in there. Alright, got this Velodyne sub just chilling here. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for it. Uh, it's probably worth about 100 bucks. Maybe it's probably worth about 150 on eBay. Uh, if I decide to sell it, probably like 100. Um, if you're going to get into subwoofers um, to test them out, you're going to need a receiver with a sub out and um, you're going to need some speakers as well. The sub basically takes care of the bass, so you're going to need some other speakers as well. And uh, I just hook it up with a basic stereo hookup, you know, left channel, right channel sub out and then the out cable goes basically into this sub you know put your favorite music on am fm or maybe you know route an ipod through it and that's basically it you can test to see if the sub works you're going to want to test the volume and a lot of times you can also test the frequencies that the sub can pick up so you want to see if those work too outside of that you know it's pretty easy to test these things out and uh, i was just chilling there at the goodwill 10 bucks couldn't believe it velodyne's a really good brand uh, hello yes yeah i want the gains Yes, we spoke yesterday. I still want them. 50 bucks? For a day of gains? What? All right, hold on. Let me get my card out. Okay, my, my card number is 817... What? Where are you speaking to me from? India? Okay, it's 817... Yes, 817-25. Just give me the gains! Sub dude, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna read a couple of comments out. But before that, I want you guys to like the video. I wanna see if I can get this like to 300 likes. You know, this these videos get good traction like immediately. If every single one of you guys just took one second out of your day to hit the like button, maybe we can get to 500 likes on a video. I don't know, but I need my Bonafide Brigade to represent. Let's talk about uh, the comments real quick. Liz Ann's Finds, awesome ride along. That was the one I posted yesterday with, uh, I won't, there's a surprise guest in there, but uh, basically the uh, title is A Local Deal Gone Bad. Go check it out. I think you'll enjoy that video. I don't want to put any spoilers in there, but there's definitely an interesting guest. All right, Veronica Thompson, your wife is such a cutie. Thanks, Veronica. I think she's a cutie too. Sometimes. All the time. Crap, I'm in the doghouse again. All right, this next comment comes from It's Me, It's Me, It's Robbie T. And uh, Robbie T is saying, What happened? My daughter just asked, What happened to the Thunder Oz? I forgot to put it in one of the ride alongs. Uh, and I guess someone's daughter in the US of A found it. They caught me. They busted me. I shall put Thunder Oz on everything. AW. AWLA6717, you have the best reseller vlogs, hands down. Keep them coming like button smashed Ooh, that's a good subscriber to have right there thank you so much awla last one from chris cash you for sure have a cart wheel fetish yeah if you're watching my hot shots then you'll know what that means but i want i'm not going to spoil it for the beginners that are watching this channel but anyways those are the comments i want to read out i could read out comments for days i love comments i love reading them uh i've reached the point of my channel now where i can it's like really hard to get back to most people but i read your comments i see them yeah you guys make me lol you know i get the little the smiley face with the, uh, the tears coming out yeah i get that but thanks a lot for the comments guys I, it makes my day it really does and in fact sometimes i'll just sit there and check them like every 15 minutes once a video uploads so so you know what to do now i've made a decision uh, i'm not going to go to the coffee shop i'm going to do some work at home later but uh i need to do a couple things uh one of which is you know i've made a vow i've made a promise 
one thing I've made a promise to myself about this year is that I'm going to try to connect with nature as much as possible because I know it makes me very happy. Um, and I think a lot of people, especially if you live in a big city, completely lose sight of like what's really important sometimes. And some of those things can be as simple as like, you know, good friendships, nature, activities, things like that. So, you know, rather than focus on monetary things, I always try to focus on other things that to me, I think leads to ultimate happiness. So there's a spot here, it's, you know, about two weeks it rained really, really hard. I expect, it, I expect there to be some water here at Bull Creek. It's one of the openings of Bull Creek where it's really pretty. We've taken some green room members there on one of the hikes. And uh, I'm just gonna go down there for a second, collect my thoughts, check it out. And you're gonna come too. And let's see if the water's rushing. It's not really rushing, but uh, looks like the creek has stalled a little bit. Yeah, there's like one person hiking, I guess. It looks like the creek crossing is really low. So we must go fast. Go! Yeah, there's like nobody here. Oh yeah, before we get to the nature cool stuff, you know, two videos ago or one hot shot ago, I don't even know, but I had uh, told a story about how I got my company car stolen outside of a convenience store, right? If you can locate that vlog, uh, it's the one where it's the one where I'm pointing to something, and uh, I think it's like I may have made a bad decision or something like that. Anyways, I'm pointing to something. You can see me clearly. It's like a day. It's during the day, kind of thing. Um, so I tell a story, and like, yeah, I walked in the convenience store, you know, and it was one of my accounts, and then it was so hot, so I left my car running. I came out, car was gone. Here's the other part of that story. So immediately I call my district manager. I'm like, dude, my car is gone. And no one's playing a prank on me. Like this thing is legit out of here. And so she's like, all right, Chris, you need to focus on what the goal is. We have, you know, this objective, that objective with the company, blah, 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 blah. That's just, you know, that's, that's, that's just company property. We can get that thing replaced. Not a big deal. Go get a rental car and continue your day. I was like, wow, that's pretty interesting. But I felt so bad about getting a car stolen. So then I'm not even kidding. That was back in the days where I was uh, really big into motorcycling and doing stunts and, you know, stunts on freeways, wheelies, stand up wheelies, those kind of things. So basically a week later, I was on a freeway called 183, which is very close to my apartment at that time. And I was popping wheelies and just doing a stupid thing. I mean, really stupid things. Uh, I don't ever, I don't ever wish anybody would do that now, obviously, but uh, you know, I was just dumb. So I'm pulling wheelies and all that kind of stuff. And then I look to the side, which is like really close to my apartment, but I look to the side of the highway on the feeder and there is a van that looks like my company vehicle. I'm like, oh my gosh, that kind of looks like my company van. I double back around, do a couple U-turns and I pull my motorcycle up to this van. I was with someone else. We were doing stunts together. And uh, he's like, holy crap, I think that's your van. I was like, I think that's my van. I saw the license plates and yes, it was my van. I found my stolen van a quarter mile from my apartment, which means after they stole it, they rummaged through it and they found certain addresses and whatnot. They had my keys from the ignition. So they had gone close to my apartment, probably tried to get in. And uh, I luckily got my locks changed the day that my car was stolen because my girlfriend at that time told me, you probably should do this because they took all your keys. Okay, but the story does get better, right? How could it, I mean, you're probably thinking like, whoa, you found a stolen vehicle? That's crazy, yeah. And it's crazy because there could have been a home invasion going on, right? I mean, I could have been home when they tried to come in and if I hadn't got the locks changed and stuff like that, like there probably was a home invasion. So we call the cops, the cops show up and like, yeah, is this your van? Yes, here, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the proof of me owning that vehicle. It's a company car or a company van, I guess. And so inside the van, it was trash to all hell. I mean, there was like stuff spilled everywhere. There was evidence that they had actually transported a kid around in it. There was like chocolate milk stains everywhere. Um, there was like kid, um, like, how do I explain it? There were kid books, like, kind of strewn all over the place. And basically, whoever stole it, like, took it on a huge joyride and, like, whatever. And probably tried to rob my apartment, but that wasn't going to happen. All right, so, it gets a little weird at this point. The cops come, and they step out of the cop car. They're starting to look through the van. They have little tweezer things, and they're, you know, because they don't want to touch it with their hands because this stuff is evidence. And uh, the, the van smells like absolute... I mean, it smells really, really bad because it's been festering in the sun. You know, it ran out of gas like right there at that one spot. They parked it and the people just, you know, whoever did the joyride thing just took off. So it's been festering there with the chocolate milk inside, whatever, uh, in the hot summer sun of Austin, Texas for what? 
probably was a couple days, maybe a week, I don't know. And so the cops like filtering around the van, like, you know, picking stuff up with the tweezers. And then uh, one of the other cops was like, all right, give me some more information about this, like this, like this. I'm like, all right, cool. I got you the information. And then I noticed that the other cop that's doing the tweezer thing, he goes, and there was, okay, so there was some porn in the van too. There were like porn magazines, which I don't, there was some weird stuff. There was definitely some porn in there. And this is where it gets kind of funny. But as I'm talking to one cop, giving him information, he has a little notepad out. He's like taking down some stuff. The other cop with his little tweezers is flipping through the porn. And while he's flipping through the porn, he's like, yeah, this looks like it was joy ridden, this van. And he's flipping through the porn, clearly stating what we all know, that this is a stolen vehicle that was joy ridden. As he's flipping through the porn, he's like, yep, it's definitely a stolen vehicle. It's been joy ridden. And he's flipping through porn. Okay, if it couldn't get better, it's gonna get a little bit better, but it might get kind of gross. So I take that van, it's atrocious smelling. There's no gas in it, so I had to bring some gas. And the cops are gone at this point, and the very next day I'm like, oh, I gotta get the smell out of this van, so I take it to a car wash that's right by my apartment. As I roll up to the car wash guy, I'm like, all right, I need a full detail in this van, blah, 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 I get it expensed off, but I can expense it off. So I go for the freaking, like the moon, man. I go for like that $200 or $300 thing. I mean, I go to the moon with this cleaning. So I tell the guy, I'm like, dude, you think you can get this smell out of this van? It smells terrible. I think it's chocolate milk or whatever. It smells terrible. Can you please get it out? And he goes, this guy looks me dead in the eyes. And he goes, yeah, you know, funny thing is we've actually cleaned out cars that have had brains blown out in them. I'm like, what? Like, I didn't need to hear that part, dude. I didn't need to hear that. And now my head is now thinking about little pieces of head and stuff all over some random vehicle ew and that's the rest of the story well if that doesn't deserve a like or a comment i don't know what does but i have some crazy stories in my arsenal trust me uh, but that's just one of them so uh i'm gonna go out to here and take care of this little nature calm down right here all right we're gonna go to a vista that's what i call it so i didn't allow myself to i didn't allow myself to bring a phone out here because that's just not right you know you want to bring the least amount of tech when you go to like a vista or a nature thing in fact if i wasn't a vlogger um, and i didn't want to teach you guys a couple things i'd bring a piece of paper i'd bring a pad paper collect my thoughts and write down some of the reflections you know big opening here in a second when the water is high enough you can go flying off those cliffs too and jump in the water we did that on one of the green room videos about three years ago it's pretty epic. It, it can get pretty deep down there. Yeah, in some of the other green room videos, we were here. Steve Rakin, College Picker, and I were sitting on these falls right there. Yeah, it's a really pretty place. So I'm going to turn off the camera here, collect my thoughts. I'm going to build like five more guides. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, last stop. Savers by my house. So I'm checking out stuff in this section. I saw these binoculars, but they're not really focusing correctly. But there's some Bushnell Sport Views, 20 bucks, but they're just not working very well. They're just all effed up. So anyway, I'm passing on them. Okay, I walked out buying some sunglasses and a bike tube and some other random things. The sunglasses is really where it's at. That's where the, uh, the good stuff is. So I'll show you here in a second. Man, this is the kind of day where I should have put my hair up for a man bun. But anyway, okay, so I got these sunglasses um, they were $7.99. You might be thinking that looks kind of like ordinary sunglasses. But, you know, if you ever see this side part like this, all right, that should spark your attention a little bit. These are Persol sunglasses, and they're polarized as well. So just like Ray-Ban puts our, uh, just like Ray-Ban puts Ray-Ban in a little P, I think, next to it, these say Persol right here. You can kind of see it with a P next to it. See how it says that, Persol, with a P next to it? All right, so those are polarized Persol sunglasses. Um, I'll look up the model when I get home. Uh, these are TBD, but I would think that these are about um, about the $50 mark, honestly, maybe more. I had to rescue them because I've never found a pair of Persols that were somewhat affordable from a garage sale or a thrift store, so I had to rescue these. Anyways, and they are basically, they have like superficial light scratching, like in a couple places, that's it. So they should go pretty quickly they might be a little outdated style but we'll see when i get home and i research more uh you know i just had to get into them here we go i'm gonna go head home and get some ebay stuff packaged up into hustler casa and i'm about to wipe off some of the little sharpie marks that are on some of the climbing helmets down there I'm gonna take pictures 
Oh, this thing, this thing, probably the guitar and that bag from the other day. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, box up the eBay stuff for today, and then from there I'll edit this vlog. There we go. All right, so when you're gonna be hustling the Petzl Ekrin rock um there's basically a size in here that you'll have to spot right here this one says size 55 to 53 to 63 i think this is a medium if i'm not mistaken um yeah so there's a size down there you're gonna have to put that in the listing but outside of that i mean it's just really one loop one clasp that you really have to test to make sure everything's good on the sides none of these things have come off because that's where the straps go to the helmet looks good Good, 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 good. Click the strap and I'm pretty sure this will work. Good. Um, but one of the things that I like, and I never thought I would ever say that I like this, but Healthy Choice Power Bowls are super good. They're at Costco, you can get four for 10 bucks. These things are freaking amazing. I have never been all about an actual like heat up meal ever. The other stats right there, you know, relatively high in protein. I'm gonna add some more to mine. But yeah, when you got the power bowl right here, and you're supposed to let it sit for a little bit. And there we have it. It's a really good bowl for being instant. I'm on board with a healthy choice, at least this one. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the hot shot. I'm gonna go edit it right now so I can get it out to you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. I wanna see some comments. I love reading comments. And until the next time, which tomorrow we have garage sale day and you know i'm gonna film it so anyways i really appreciate you guys stopping by i'll see you on the next bonafide hustler hotshot take it easy goodbye